Hello and welcome to our daily time of prayer. We're going to continue reading through 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 and we're going to read the Lord's Prayer together. I love this opportunity daily for us to read the Lord's Prayer, for us to centre our lives on Jesus and reconnect to the way that he taught us to pray. Let's read this prayer out loud all together as it comes up on the screen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. We're going to continue as we look at um, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, and it says this, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Today we want to focus on a few uh, words just in the centre here where it talks about if we turn from our wicked ways as part of humbling ourselves, as part of turning to seek God and to pray, if we turn from our wicked ways is the sentence we want to focus on. And I want us to pray through um, today a sense that actually across the church, the bride of Christ, there is purity, there is a cleansing, that we would be people that are whole and live holy lives for Jesus. And so as we come to prayer this morning, we're going to focus on these uh, few few verses and few words that just enable us to focus on how we're going to turn our lives to focus on Jesus. So let's pray together for ourselves and for the body of Christ. Father, we thank you for your wonderful body, the church, and we pray in your name, Jesus, that you would come and cleanse us, restore us and heal us where we need it. God, we pray that as the people of God, we would be men and women of purity and holiness. We would be men and women that seek your face first, that any um, wicked ways in our lives, any things that actually just don't honour you, honour others or honour ourselves, we pray, God, that we would turn away from them to turn to you. And I ask, God, that we would lay hold of you, we'd let go of those things that aren't of you and to lay hold of who you are. I pray that you would prepare us as the beautiful, spotless bride of Christ. And God, I ask that you would allow us to shine forth your light into the world. May we shine brightly for you, Jesus Christ. May our friends, work colleagues, neighbours see you through us as they see us shining brightly with the love of Christ upon us. In Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer points are going to come up on the screen. I'd love you to pray those through. And um, let's keep praying for the church. Let's keep rising up strong and um, showing love to our neighbours and um, people around us at this time. God bless.